Planes. Children and their parents turned up at the school to be given antibiotics and vaccinations to protect them against the killer disease meningitis. They were also given advice on how to diagnose the illness quickly. Since the deaths of the two teenagers four days ago, another teenager has been taken to hospital with the disease. Meningitis is an infection of the brain and spinal cord which affects 3,000 people a year. It can be caused either by a virus or, as in these cases, a bacteria, which is far more serious. It's spread by coughing, sneezing and kissing. This type of meningitis is on the increase and has more than doubled since 1994. The symptoms of meningitis include the worst headache you've ever had, fever, neck stiffness, difficulty looking at bright lights and a rash that won't fade when you press it. There are more cases of meningitis at winter time, but if it's spotted early, it can be treated successfully. The Meningitis Research Foundation launched the new study to find out why it affects so many teenagers. They hope that if people know the symptoms, they'll be more likely to get the medical help they need quickly. More news to Mars. The unmanned probe, the Mars Polar Lander, will collect soil from the planet to look for traces of water, which could mean life exists there. It also has a microphone to record the howl of the Martian wind. And one of the world's smallest babies was born today, but this cash won't be burning a hole in your pocket for quite some time. It's called the Euro, a currency that will eventually replace the French francs, German Deutschmarks and money in nine other countries across Europe. But Britain's not signed up to it yet. Lisa explains what it's all about. It's been an incredibly busy day at this huge international bank in London. 1500 that's my last offer. From today, whenever money changes hands by computer, it'll often be done in euros. And in three years' time, the currency will be available to use as hard cash. Shops around Europe are already showing how much things cost in both the current money, here it's Deutschmarks, and in euros. It's to give people a chance to get used to the idea before coins and notes start being available in the year 2002, meaning you won't have to change money when you travel between countries. Eleven European nations have come together for the launch of the single currency, which seems to have gone well. But Britain isn't one of them. Many people here don't want us to join up. Some say it simply won't work because there are too many countries involved. And others don't want our pounds to be replaced by euros. But if the new euro is a success, the government will probably ask us if we want to join. And there'll be a national vote on it in a couple of years' time. And finally, get a loaf of this.